So to find the inverse of this, the first thing I'm going to do is what? We're going to make y equal to f of x. So this becomes y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 9. What's the next step? The next step would be we're going to swap my x and y. So I'm just going to, wherever there's an x, I put a y. Wherever there's a y, I put an x. So this becomes x equals negative 3 fourths times y um, plus 9. Um, next step, we solve for y equals some stuff. So we're going to solve for y. So I'm going to minus 9 from both sides, right? And I get x minus 9 is equal to negative 3 over 4y. And then I'm going to multiply this by negative 4 over 3. And I'm going to multiply this by negative 4 over 3. On this side, it just stays as negative 4 over 3. 3 times the quantity x minus 9 is equal to, remember that the 4 cancels with the 4, the 3 cancels with the 3, the negative cancels with the negative, and I, over here I got a positive y. The last step, and I didn't really talk about this too much, the last step is now we're going to make y equal to the function notation for inverse functions. That superscript negative one just means it's the inverse function that we're in we're undoing what's being done. So then we rewrite this as the inverse function as um, negative four thirds times x minus nine. Okay. And then that is basically. Um, it you could do more you could push that like in the um in the example problem on the online textbook you could push this negative four thirds through the parentheses if you want to um but it's okay you could leave it like that for now all right so any questions on this one